Mi nombre es Nayanesh Ayman, soy luchador profesional de Muay Thai, kickboxing. Después, en febrero iba a pelear en Boacao contra un chino, pero el chino se rompió la pierna o la rodilla. Entonces, con 10 días, me avisaron. Y yo dije, pero 10 días es poco y estoy subiendo de peso. Y dice, ya, pero tienes que hacerlo, por favor. ¿Me dices hacer el favor? <risa> Me, me cogió, estamos peleando y me cogió una mano en la mandíbula. El árbitro contó hasta sitio para el combate. El Bocao es un máster del de ring. Hay luchadores, hay luchadores que son muy buenos, luego hay estrellas y después hay superestrellas. Y en ese momento, después de superestrellas, estaba Bocao. O sea, fue increíble pelear, saber que va a pelear contra Bocao. Pero hay que saber también que es Bocao, tío, me, me, me daba en experiencia, en número de peleas, eh, en todo. Para mí significa más que una victoria, significa muchísimo. Para mí significa entrar en la historia del Muay Thai a nivel mundial. Si no, si no hubiera una revancha, no sería justo. Eh, desde el 2018 han pasado cinco años. Llevo cinco años peleando con rivales diferentes, cinco años entrenando muy fuerte entre España y Finlandia. Estoy entrenando muy duro y muy fuerte para hacerle daño, incluso puedo llegar a noquearle. Actualmente estoy en mi mejor momento y voy a por Boacao. Boacao, espero que hayas entrenado más fuerte que nunca. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Spanish Lion, Nayanet Ayman!
comes the legend. As you can see, Kota Miura holding the ropes for Buakao Ganchame. A fight that will go down in the history books of Muay Thai. Potentially his last kickboxing match here in Thailand. Two-time K-1 champion, two-time K-1 runner-up. The Kremlin Fight World Champion, WMC World Champion, WBC World Champion, two-time Omnoy Stadium Champion, two-time Thai Fight Champion. The legend that is Buakau Van Chamen is here inside Rajadam Nerm Stadium, once again competing on RWS. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the main fight of the evening. This fight will be a kickboxing fight. In the red corner, we have Buakau Banchamek from Thailand. 41 years of age now, stands at 178 centimeters. Weighed in at 152.9 pounds. And has a reach of 178 centimeters. He was born in Surin, in Thailand. He has a professional record, Muay Thai and kickboxing of 241 victories, 24 losses and 14 draws. The two-time K1 World Max Champion, he is undefeated in his last nine fights. And as Antoine said, it might be the last time we've seen kickboxing in Thailand. In the blue corner, we have Nainesh Ayman. Fighting out of Sitsong Pinong Jin from Spain. He is 34 years of age. Stands at 183 centimeters. Also weighed in at 152.9 pounds. He has a reach of 189 centimeters, 11 centimeter reach advantage for Nyanesh. He was actually born in Kinshasa in the Congo, living and representing Madrid. Has a professional record of 71 victories with 22 losses. One of them was a knockout against Buakau five years ago with seven draws. He is a Spanish Muay Thai champion and the first IFMA of the amateur ranks of Muay Thai medalist from Spain. And of course, he is ranked number two at middleweight here at Rajdam Mern Stadium. <laughs> here it is. Buakau's a big fan. Of course, as I said, this is a kickboxing match. So for a lot of you might be wondering why are they doing Raikou? This might be the very last time that we see Buakau competing in either Muay Thai or kickboxing here in Thailand. So he especially requested, he wants his fan to see him perform the Raikou one more time here in Ratchadamnan Stadium. What Buakau wants, Buakau gets. <laughs> But yeah, this is the last bout of the evening, and I don't think anyone has left. Still packed to the rafters, and during that majestic entrance, every single person with their phone out, ready to record, walk out, come into the ring, like Antoine said, potentially for the very last time. Inside Rajadam Moon Stadium, or inside Thailand, for, kick, for a kickboxing fight. And what a tough challenge tonight. And I, I do want to say the tough challenge is for Nyanesh, but it is for Buakau as well. You've said it, he, Nyanesh ranked number two in Ratchamnan Stadium, which for a lot of people, they've seen Buakau perform for the past few years, five or six years, and let's be honest, he hasn't really fought the top of the top. 
going down with age, obviously, but now, today, he hasn't chosen the easiest opponent, that's for sure, Aaron. Completely understandable, he's 41 years of age. So we're going to have exhibition bouts, or fights against Kotomura, against Yoshihiro Kiddo. Uh, he fought yeah, Alexander Lef Yafimenko to a draw as well, it's completely understandable. In his last 10 fights, he's got seven wins, one draw, two non-contests. If we go back all the way to 2010, so now he's had 65 fights in that time. He's got 58 victories with 19 knockouts in that time <laughs> period. Just one draw and four losses and two no contest. So he's still been pretty active over the years considering he is 41 years of age. He's still, what I can see looking around the stadium, the biggest, if not the biggest draw in the sport of Muay Thai. Yeah, absolutely right. And let's not forget that tonight, this bat is scheduled to be at 69.5 kilos, which means it's been over 20 years since Boaca hasn't fought at this weight. Growing older, he chose to fight at a lighter weight, which is potentially going to cause Trouble for Nanesh, who is ranked at 160 pounds, 72.5 kilograms here in Rajamnan Stadium. And he did say it was a very tough okay. weight cut. So we have a fighter that is much older and another fighter that is much bigger, but that had a big weight cut. So we'll have to find out how is this going to play out, Aaron. Yeah, a few weeks ago, Antoine Murai in the back. We were speaking to Nainish's manager and he said that they accepted the fight and we were saying, well, what's the weight? And when he said 69.5, we both looked at each other and we thought to ourselves, are you sure that Nainish, a man of his stature, who fights under the 60 pounds at 34 years of age, can make the weight? It was a struggle, but, and he got there miraculously. And here we are, the main event of this week's RWS. Oh, and in, look at the size difference. I know. In the red corner from Thailand, the living legend Buakau Ban Jamet. And in the blue corner from Spain, Nainesh Ayman. For the last time this evening, with the introductions, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The man Ivan of the FA. Legend of Russian of them. Are you ready? Are you ready? This vault is fighting in the rules of three rounds, kickboxing, and brought to you by M. Roy Hassid and introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Chumpon in that young. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting our blue corner, 34 years of age. He's dominant in 83 centimeters tall and very limited in 52.9 pounds. He holds a record of 77 wins, 22 losses, and 7 draw. He is Ifwa, Middle East for Spain, a Spanish Muay Thai champion, fighting out of Madrid, Spain. Let's hear it for Nayane. And his opponent fighting now on the red corner. 41 years of age. He's in diamond at 978 years old and weighed him at 52.9 pounds. He already cut up 241 wins, 24 losses, and 14 draws. He is two times J1 World Max Champion. Fighting our world, Surin Province, Thailand. The German for Buka Ban Sha House 
for the king of Muay Thai, Buakau, against the man looking to revenge that knockout five years previously. Lioness here to take the throne. Okay, here we go. Round number one, kickboxing. Here at Rajdan Moon at RWS, the main event. Yes, this is an opponent for both now who is much taller Ooh. than his last opponent. Absolutely. Big shots coming from Nyanesh. By the way, Workout looking to close the distance. Ooh, and left kick of his own. Inside kick there by Borkow. Inside kick. Reply by Nyanesh. Again. Borkow looking to jump out the chin. Then go high. Of course, a big question will be. Who will get tired first? Will it be the fighter who's lost a lot of weight or the older book? Come on, John, a great takedown here. Not sure if that's allowed. The ref says nothing. Here we go. Well, Nanesh is still in the game. Oh, the big right hand from Walker Machamek. Yeah, the referee is that no, has to call it. Definitely a knockdown. I thought for a moment he wasn't. Yeah, it has to be a knockdown. Wow! Overhand right from Borkow, 41 years of age, still possesses big power. Snappy jabs there from Nainesh, who has that guard now held high. Big question whether that weight cut has had an effect on him. Yeah, absolutely, and the crowd very quiet, waiting for something. Big shot there, Nainesh. Still there, oh, and a big right hand again from Borkow! Yeah, Nainesh holding on. Knowledge there by Nyanes. Workow proving the world once again. He still has that power. Oh. And again, the right hand. Nyanes again susceptible to those right hands. Trying to get those combinations going. Oh, that's a new one added to Borkow's arsenal. Look at that. Well, Borkow was going to spin that time. Nainesh looking to dig in a left hook to the body. All right. Borkow pushing forward with us. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh right good hands right there. Wow, where's this coming from? A beautiful flurry from Borkow. Putting on Nainesh. He's trying to fight back this time. Borkow rolling back the clock. Yeah, Nainesh has absolutely no answer yet for the power of Borkow Banchamu. Viking just glancing off the forehead there of Nainesh. Workout going to the body. I feel like Nainesh hasn't got going at all in round number one. Yeah, absolutely. And let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the wreck number two in Rachel Moon Stadium here. Inside kick there. Oh, and the body punch. Workout. What a run. Wow. The workout. Watch wow. it. Oh, Borkow in that round and scoring the knockdown in the process as well. Problems for Nainesh. But he did it. Borkow by Chamo. Alright, here we go. Nainesh. He's got to wake up. Yeah, absolutely, Adam. Yeah. Definitely going to be a tough task. Yes. Workout, like you said, from that time. Somehow, Nainesh needs to gain confidence throwing those hands. Combinations. You can't let Workout establish his rhythm. That's much better there. One, two, three, four. Uh, much better, like you said. Going to the body and to the head, switching levels as Nainesh. Oh, Workout, so active. He is. He did perhaps use a lot of energy in the previous round, so this might be an opportunity oh. for Nyanesh to push the pace. But again, Borkow more active. That's a good point, you know, 41 years of age, as the rounds do progress, it might be seen in favor of Nyanesh, just because Borkow is 41. Absolutely, but again, the weight cut did that affect him. Ah, good point. Is that a strategy for Borkow? Good look at there by Nyanesh. Hear the crowd cheering on their hero. Snapping jabs there by Nainesh. Inside kick. Here comes 
Oh, again with that. Oh, 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 that right hand seems to be there every time he throws it. But I was about to throw a knee. Just remember this is a kickboxing bat. Oh, oh, and a big right hand once again. Look at the right hand. Look how looking to go in for the kill. Nine X covering up the best he can. Oh, oh not looking good at all. Let's go that time. Workout going for the kill. Nine X has absolutely no answer yet. Good job there. Every yeah. time that Nines throws that left hand, Borkow throws the right, and it's Borkow who connects. Time oh, is big there. overhand right there from the, the Spanish fighter. Perhaps some knees, something different, something that Borkow is not used to. A few low kicks coming from Borkow. Nines, oh, a good uppercut there. Nines trying to go Borkow in there. Saying, yeah, yeah, throw some low kicks if you want. It's not affecting me. Comes Borkow once again. Again, looking for that right hand. Lead left hook there. A little bit better from Nayana. She needs to be more active. You need her to want to win. Even though you know it won't be easy, but you need to try. Oh, beautiful one two combination there. Borkow grabbing the right Nayana down. It almost feels like there's a little bit too much respect mm. coming from Nyanesh, Aaron. It's true. Either showing him too much respect or the situation has got to him. Because he doesn't look loose. He's starting to warm up now here after round number two. And here you can see at the end of the round, Nyanesh paying respect to what? All right, here we go. Third and final round. It's been a great contest so far. Borkow just a bit too much in the first round for Nines. Nines in round number two did a little bit better, but I still think Borkow won that round. Let's see what happens in the third and final round. Oh, good outside kick there from Nines. Left high kick protected by Boer. Nines now being more aggressive, pushing forward. Which of course he's going to have to do if he wants to win this fight. Looking for that one-two combination is the Spanish fighter. Left up there from Borkow, outside kick, inside kick, overhand right there from Borkow. And Nyanesh just not able to fire off anything. That's going to trouble Borkow. Left up there from Nyanesh. Again, Borkow being very active in this fight. Very impressive, considering he's 41. And he's taking on the number two ranked middleweight here at Radlamun. Just shows how good his skill is. The combination there from Nainesh. Then Rokal, ready with that right hand. Going to the body. Rokal. Cornering Nyanesh here. Oh, good left hook there from Nyanesh, not allowing Borkow to have it all his own way. Nyanesh showing good heart here. 90 seconds left on the clock. Team to the midsection by Borkow, and again. Oh, and a good right hand. He's still so fast. Ridiculous. Not happy there. Come on, one minute to go. Teeps to that midsection that Nines was complaining about. Oh, looking for a jumping knee was Nines. Outside kick from Boa. Swinging left and right hands from Boa Cow. Nines now blooded. With a swinging left hand there from Nainesh, but wide of the mark. Could be a broken nose. More left hooks from Borka on the right hand, and again with that right. Good right hand on the counter there from Nainesh. Final 20 seconds of this one. 
got to give it to Brokow. 41, he still possesses massive power. He still has the speed. Still has the appetite to get in there and compete with the best, one of the best fighters here at Rajnamnan Stadium at middleweight. There you have it folks, the end of the third and final round. I am not happy there. Just having the word. Obviously, something happened in the third round. Nine is not happy with where he was grabbing the hold of him. Obviously, no clinch, he's kickboxing. That might have been the beef of Nine S. But either way, Brokaw is going to take the picture here as he celebrates right in front of his fans at Ratchet Nurse Stadium. Beautiful display of kickboxing by the legend. Props to Niners for taking his fight, for making the weight of 69.5 kilograms. That was a fight in itself to make that weight. Don't go anywhere, folks. Of course, we'll have the official decision. And then Antoine and I will tell you what's coming up next over the uh, next coming weeks as we end 2023 here on RWS. So let's have a look. That was in round number one, Brokaw taking 9S off his feet. There was a big right hand in round number one though. Rattled 9S and even dropped him, took away his feet. And Brokaw looking to potentially end the fight. Another big right hand in round number two. That high kick there from Brokaw picking out all the fat tips of kickboxing in this one. Another massive right hand, potentially might have even broken the nose of Niner. Blood flowing from the Spanish fighter. Good body shots there from the Spanish fighter, trying to brutalize the 41 year old body. Oh, that might have been the one, you know, that broke the nose. All right, here we go. Official decision by Mr. Villa. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the judges' score card. All three judges score is about 30 to 26. Declare your winner by way of you know the marks. The session. An amazing fight, but first, Nayanesh. <laughs> what a performance tonight. I know you really wanted to get that rematch. I know you really wanted to get that win. How are you feeling tonight? Thank you. 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 Contra uno de mis miedos y lo he afrontado con éxito. El resultado no define, no define la acción, sino he vencido asalto tras asalto, me he llevado golpes y aquí sigo en pie. I am very happy because today I faced one of my biggest fears and I conquered it. The result is not important because I keep fighting, I keep getting hit. And I stand by here to say that I fought Buakao. How was Buakao tonight? How different was he from five years ago? La diferencia hace cinco años. Yo era un chico de barrio que iba al gimnasio, entrenaba, iba a pelear. Pero hoy en día soy un atleta que entrena en el mejor gimnasio de Silson Pinón, con buenos entrenadores, buenos compañeros, y aquí estoy. 
Five years ago, I was just a normal kid, a regular kid who wanted to fight. I was a regular fighter. Nowadays, I am an athlete. Nowadays, I train every day with the best people in Sitson Pinong Gym, and here I am to demonstrate to the world that I am who I am. Yeah, and of course, we'll be looking forward to seeing you again here in Ratchatamdan Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nayana Shosman! And of course, the living legend, Buakau Banchame. Congratulations, what a performance tonight. Pip Buakab, how are you doing this? Oh, God. ไปนี้บอกเลยครับว่าเราได้ซ้อมต่อเนื่องแล้วก็อย่างที่บอกว่าสภาพร่างกายเราพร้อมเต็มที่สําหรับไฟนี้เพราะว่าเขาก็มีความตั้งใจที่จะมาต่อสู้กับเรามากนะครับเพราะว่าเขาพยายามที่จะเอาความแข็งแรงมาต่อสู้กับเราครับ I knew tonight was going to be a very tough fight, very tough opponent. Obviously, I had to get my body ready. I had to be prepared to face such a tough opponent. You could have fought anyone, anybody, and yet. You chose to fight the ranked number two here in Ratchatamnan Stadium. Why is that? Jinjing, we choke up with anyone. Why did you choose to choke up with number two in the ranked number two? Actually, we are at the gate of the team, and we are at the gate of the team. We are at the gate of the team, and we are at the gate of the team. We are at the gate of the team, and we have to choke. It is not up to me, it's up to the promoters. They chose this opponent, and I was here to fight. Lastly, what is next for Buakau? We've heard that you're gonna stop fighting Muay Thai. Are you gonna go somewhere else? Are we ever gonna see you fight here again? They say that you won't fight Muay Thai now. Okay, okay. It's a gang of everybody. 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 หลังจากนี้อาจจะอยู่ทางอยู่ที่ทางสนามนะครับ RWS ที่เราจะคุยแผนงานข้อตกลงกันต่อไปแต่ว่าครั้งนี้ก็คิดว่าเราคงได้ได้ได้ผันเปลี่ยนที่จะไปเตรียมพร้อมที่จะไปชกสไตล์อื่นต่อไปครับ Well we'll have to see if we'll have if we'll get the chance to see b u a k a o here again in r a c h a n a m a n Stadium he will be getting ready to fight in different rules of course I know this is the victory of b u a k a o Kota how was work out tonight? Yeah, nice fight, nice fight. Yeah, yeah. How was work out tonight? Yeah, good, good. Good fight? Yeah. Are you happy okay? Yeah, happy. Yeah, <laughs> I respect him. Kota, <laughs> Josh Hoki, Rachanam Nani, Mai. Will we get to see you here yeah, again? I, yeah, I want, I want fight, and I'm team work out. Yeah. All right. Work out. Come here to be seen. Work out. Don't mind. <laughs> well, well, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, the living legend, Buakau!